we are deep into the next 49ers contract negotiation with a star player they drafted and they're trying to extend. And if you're a player on the team, if you're a fan of the team, you know how this goes. It drags on and 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 on. And either the player caves early because he's impatient and wants money, or it could go up to a few days before the season starts and the Niners cave and give the player everything they want. That's how it goes every year. And uh, the Niners keep doing the same trick like they expect players to get scared. And it seems like every year players are more, more and more bold and Bosa didn't cave. Ayuk hasn't caved yet. And these players are getting more and more expensive as the Niners wait and, and do nothing. What do you think of their negotiation tactics now? Well, when we're speaking about Brandon Ayuk specifically, there's something that's holding them back from being decisive on Brandon Ayuk. Maybe it's just the dollar amount that's required to sign Brandon Ayuk. Or maybe it's the other things that we've talked about. Like he's not quite in that mix, not quite in that culture, not in the cool club with the 49ers. He was in the doghouse. I don't know what it is, but they're very indecisive about Brandon Ayuk. They came into the draft with Brandon Ayuk on the trading block. <clears throat> they drafted two wide receivers. Brandon Ayuk acknowledged what all of us suspected that if they would have signed him as soon as like the Super Bowl was over, uh, which he wanted to, that they were talking, it would have been cheaper for the 49ers. But because they delayed and didn't agree to his original asking price, the market has been reset over and over again. And now Brandon Ayuk costs more. He literally admitted this on the show. So he basically let everyone know what we already suspected, that the delay has raised his price tag. So my question is, and I've been trying to figure it out, is, is why? Why do the 49ers think it's an advantage to wait? In certain situations, I could kind of understand, but it seems just very indecisive on the 49ers' part. I like what the Texans did with Collins, which was, would be the equivalent to extending Brandon Ayuk last year. You know, they could have done this last year. Or or, or what, what the, the Dolphins did with Waddle or what the Eagles did with Devontae I, Smith. Because Collins wasn't a first-round pick. But those two were, and they still got extended after year three. Yeah, jump on it early. If you know that this is your guy, if you know that this is a dude you want around, which it felt like he was that kind of guy to me. If you know that that's what you want, then do it early. Save yourself a lot of money. If they would have extended Brandon Ayuk last year, we're talking about $22 million a year or something like that. Like That would have saved them a substantial amount of money. So if they end up signing Brandon Ayuk, after all of this is said and done, they literally cost themselves several million dollars per year by doing so, and I just don't understand it. I don't know when the next opportunity you get to interview John Lynch, Kyle Shanahan, but I would love, love, I'm begging you, I always beg you to ask questions, and I apologize, but if you could, if you get an opportunity and you want to, man, I would love to find out wh why do you guys do that? Because there has to be, from their mind, from their standpoint, there has to be an advantage. But that advantage is not clear from the outside perspective. I don't get it. I'd love to ask John Lynch that question in particular because, I mean, maybe Kyle would answer. He just gets so defensive when I ask questions that aren't like, why are you great? Uh, yeah. But with John, you can ask him questions like that. And he's he's a tough guy. You know, he's a strong safety. He likes the idea of being game for tough questions. So he would look you in the eye and say, that's a good question, Grant. And then I don't know if he would really answer it, but he'd say something. And I'd love to hear what he has to say to that one. Because I, 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 it seems like the trend in the league is to do the opposite. I mean, Trent Balky just extended Trevor Lawrence after three years. So Balky gets it, and he was in this organization, and he put together the scouting staff. So whose bright idea is it to take as long as possible? Is it John Lynch? Is it Kyle Shanahan? Is it Parag? Is it Jed? I don't know. But it seems like it may have been something that helped them a few uh, 10 years ago, five years ago, but not anymore. And like, like Especially with guys at certain like Nick, positions. Yeah, with guys like Nick Bosa, Nick Bosa knows the longer I wait, the better it is for me. And he's and he, you know, he comes from a family that's done this, and he was probably advised not to, you know, make an agreement early because it benefits him. But Brandon and I, you came out and said we we were trying to get this done early, and it would have been cheaper. So it's a different scenario from Bosa in that regard. I would I would imagine Bosa drag drug it out as long as possible because. That means more money in his pocket. But it sounds like Brandon Ayuk was just trying to get the thing done and the 49ers could have saved some money. It doesn't make sense, and I would love to hear their answer on this. 
Like, what is the advantage for you guys in order to make it happen? I'm sure they're going to spin it and be like, you know, it takes two to tango kind of answer um, and maybe spin it back on BA or whatever. But uh, it, it just doesn't seem like it makes a lot of sense. And but if you look at the evidence, like both guys on Debo and Brandon Ayuk were on the trading block. Two wide receivers were drafted. They didn't agree to his early uh, terms. They are undecided. Uh, about Brandon and I, maybe it's purely because of price tag or maybe it's something else. I have a, I have a theory and I agree with adventures with alchemy. I think it's Parag. Hmm. I'd be wrong, but I feel like this is the Parag influence. Like Parag has an, has an ego and he is the guy who's sort of structuring the contracts, which is the whole hold up here. And f for as long as I've covered the team, I think Parag has wanted headlines and stories and a reputation that he wins the deal parag did it again right because he'll give out an extension and the first thing is wow that's a lot of money but then everyone's like wait we'll wait till you see how it's structured and then it comes out and like wow parag it's a team-friendly deal and parag made this this guy look stupid and this young kid thought he was getting all this money and he got a great headline but really parag won the deal and maybe that was the case 10 years ago like when they extended colin kaepernick I remember the Colin Kaepernick deal was terrible for him, and it was extremely team-friendly, and it had a million outs that he didn't, I don't know, care about, and it came back to bite him. But now, this pursuit to win the negotiation is, 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 ending, uh, is resulting in like big, fat L's, big, fat ones. Yeah, yeah right now it is with Brandon Ayuk for sure. I, like I said, I don't think Nick Bosa could have been signed earlier. I think he's too smart for that. And it's, pro it's definitely benefiting Brandon Ayuk to wait but that wasn't his choice to wait and it's, it's costing the 49ers somebody tweeted at me like yeah the 49ers don't worry the 49ers have a reputation of paying their guys top salaries in the nfl i'm like well that's actually what i'm worried about because that's not a good thing from the franchise standpoint you don't want to be the the franchise that's known for paying the guys the most like, like that's not what you want to be known for maybe if you want to attract free agents but like for building a franchise, having room for everybody, you don't want to be that team. You want to save money. Gold Tau says, ask Kardashians or Kelsey. Attention equals money. I mean, that's true. But like, it's surprising to hear somebody out come out and say, say it, right? And I don't know if that's what, why Brandon and I, you likes it. You know, I like it because of the money. I'm reading Gary Vee's book right now, Day Trading Attention. And that's he says it's the number one uh asset in the world right now is attention so he's you're not wrong about that gold uh towel but like i don't know if brandon Ayuk should be at least coming outwardly about that well if you remember like he was a junior college athlete then he played at arizona state and he had like one good year in college so even though he was a first round pick he was never he's never been a household name i think when he was drafted by the niners a lot of football fans were like who and so now is his moment he's just coming off an all pro season he was in the super bowl although he wasn't he didn't do much so what, whether it was his fault or not um and i think he's at the center of a contract controversy during a media dead period and turns out that he's been starving for attention since who knows high school i mean haven't we all but now he's got it and uh he's enjoying it too much that being said i would have enjoyed it a lot of 26 too man i can't tell you how much I would have enjoyed it. So I, I can't sit here and tell a guy who's 10 years younger than me that he's being immature. Like, I'm immature. I mean, Extremely. it's not it's not that he wants the attention that's surprising to me. It's coming out and saying it, <laughs> that he <laughs> wants the attention. That, that's the real surprising thing. Lie. Right? Lie, Brandon. What are you talking I mean, they who all to hear that. They all do. So, like, yeah. like, I don't know. It's just surprising It's because it just sounds sounds strange. Like, if we're being real, like, as content creators, we need attention in order to do our jobs well, right? So we want the attention coming to our channels. True. But I'm not going to come out and be like, I, I just, I love the attention. Please give me the attention. It just sounds funny, you know? I don't know. I love the attention. Please give me the attention. All right, Brandon, I take it back. I'm a hypocrite. I take it, I take it all back. <laughs> right. You got me.